Hello, 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 all my machine heads, and welcome to the Tower of Power Hour, where we're all too sweet to be sour, and space is the place. This is the place to be, everyone. I apologize. I took a few days off. I spent it with my lovely wife and kids, and boy, did we have some fun. It was movie time and everything. So, I, uh, I updated the map, but I am not going to do a new saved game. So, let's see what happens. Hi, Balloon. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great. I'm doing awesome. I'm doing fantastic. We got to head up to the store and buy ourselves some more lime. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of the people who gave me the uh, mod download from the in-game mod hub. All of you guys are super, super special, super sweet too. Just like the Dr. Pepper commercial, super sweet. We're gonna try to get this uh, limed and then we're gonna spread some uh, slurry. Yay, at least we hope we can anyways. Uh, so, I'm not gonna ask a trivia today because you guys all got it right. I asked you guys how many calves does a cow have every year and the answer is one they have the same gestation period that human beings have one every nine months i want to take a few minutes and welcome 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 all the brand new family members that we've been having coming on the show it's been a great it's been awesome you know what i'm gonna say it's been fantastic and then before we get heading up to Lime, I'm going to ask you guys a question. But first and foremost, let's buy us. Let's see where these are. Um, are they under big bags now? No. Uh, are they under pallets? <laughs> uh, I don't know where they're at because I didn't check them. Oh, there they are. Yay. How much is in each one? 50. So let's get... This holds 1400 So let's get um, three, four, five first. That's 200 Ooh, they spread them out. That's kind of neat. Uh, oh, I see what I got to do. There we go. Just got to hold it over. It's just like real life. This is awesome. This is great. There's two. There's a hundred. Hundred and then fifty. Oh, I love it, man. Love it, love it, love it, love the church bells. Oh, man, I'm so refreshed. These uh, couple of days off are fantastic, I'm telling you. Um, So they're here. No. They're under pallets. They're under pallets. So let's get. Uh, that's 200, 250, 300, 400, 450, and 500. Let's start with 500 first. And then what we'll do is when we get all set up, we'll. Uh, We'll get our truck, and we'll head down here and grab some more. This is this is super realistic. This is how you, well how I did it. Um, they would come on the pallets, and then we would um, rip them open and dump them in here. It was great. It's really cool because it's uh, it fits our our super ultra ultra realistic, ready to go. So, because, oh, I just dumped in here. How many we got in here? Uh, we only got, we got 500. Shall we see how far that goes first before we buy any more? Okay. So, I'm going to take a few minutes. I got to ask you guys a question. Uh, instead of the trivia today, hi, Balloon. Uh, I want to know, okay, Fury's been working on a map, Okay. It was given to me by a friend of mine. It is a forestry map. 
it has been put out by someone else and has been released but fury's been working on editing it to my own uh map making it basically my own forestry map gonna change it gonna um, be working on it like feverishly uh i am not going to release it uh it is going to be my personal edit uh that way i don't step on any toes of the original mod author it was given to me by a friend of mine um directly so i didn't get it off wonky site i got it from that's really cool i got it from him uh directly via email so would you guys like to have me start a let's play uh on my own map or do you want me to start a big farming series on pacific northwest because this series is our super ultra realistic small series where everything's tiny everything's small everything's uh, realistic everything all that stuff uh, but the Pacific Northwest will be still ultra realistic except for it'll be big farming and it's already a map or do you want to see a forestry map where we turn a forestry um, we turn a completely forestry map into giant farms a giant dairy farm let me know in the comments um, because I want to start it tomorrow tomorrow night so it is now 11.19 at night on Saturday night. So I will be starting that on Sunday night. So I will release this Sunday morning. So you guys pretty much let me know whichever one you want. We're going to start that. Um, and I might, if, you, if I don't get a lot of comments, maybe I'll give it another day and we'll come back here for another episode. Uh, like I said, my apologies for taking a few days off. But uh, like I stated in episode one, you know, I'm going to go to how I feel. And if I start getting four or five episodes in and I start getting a little bit more um, like a, a burned out feeling, I'm going to take a few days off. I learned that from uh, Grizzly Bear Sims because there's nothing worse than getting burned out and then trying to come onto a map and and just it doesn't work because you, it's manufactured. Um, but when I'm rested and I'm happy and everything's good, then my feelings are genuine and it's so much better. So let me know those two maps. I've been working feverishly at my logging map. I told you guys I wanted one. Um, I wanted one bad. This one, like I said, has been released. Um, so to it's been released in the form it is, but I'm not going to... It's not even going to be called that map. I've completely edited it myself. It's got so many changes that it barely recognizes the map. And please, please, please don't ask me for a link. Because it, it was it is going to be completely private. I'm going to be doing that Let's Play for um, just my subscribers, my family members. And that's it. Now, we know right now that... Uh, 500 is not going to be enough to finish this field. <laughs> um, so I'm going to have to just buy a pallet outright until we get our truck and things like that. Um, so <laughs> uh, we'll just have to do it that way. Now, the slurry spreader that you will see in game here is edited by me. Um, and... I want to let you guys know that it is not, it is on the in-game mod hub, but it is not, uh, it, it's not going to spray like that. So you can download it all you want um, and that sort of thing. But uh, until I put out the video of how to edit XMLs and things, then uh, we're going to have to stick to that. Generally what I do... Uh, until at least the variable spray mod comes out. Uh, I generally, when I edit the XML, I take the spray rate. Because uh, what happens is, like for example, um, this is set up for 3 meters, correct? This is a 3 meter... Um, I don't think I'm going to make it to the end of this. Uh, I'm going to try goes pretty fast so anyways this spreader this fertilizer and lime spreader is set up for three meters 
Okay, so in the XML, it'll be labeled as uh, spray usage, uh, three meters, uh, one time use. Okay, so what that basically means is every second that it's running, it's using um, three meters. It's using three every second. So generally, when I want to, wow, well, 500 didn't even give us one time around. So, yep. We're going to have to go back up, and we're just going to buy a pallet of lime. But thank you guys for giving me that link. Oh, uh, Jerry even sent it to me in email. So you guys are awesome. You guys are great. Uh, but so what I usually do, generally speaking, is when I edit it down, I will put this usage uh, down from three meters to one, uh, which is about half. Usually it's one and a half. You can go 1.5 if you want it. You can get real in-depth about it. Okay, do you, do you pallets, and we're gonna go a uh, pallet of lime. Just because we can. Um, so that way it's using one every second instead of three. And if it even still is using it, um, there, wow only a thousand so i gotta buy another power of that because i know that we're gonna need it no we are gonna need it so jet whoops well awesome it'll reach from there uh so generally speaking like i said i i knock it down by half Slurry spreaders, though, I knock down by three quarters. Uh, so instead of one, if this is if it was a three meter um, uh, sprayer, then I'll knock it down to like seventy five percent of what it's supposed to use. So because slurry is so hard to come by in the game, plus in real life, like. Um, if you guys ever watch them uh, spray in real life, it goes quick, but not that quick. Um, otherwise, people wouldn't use it. I mean, they would because it's free. <laughs> oh, man, what a great, great, great few days off I had from uh, recording. Oh, spent the time with the family, like I said, and we made homemade philly cheesesteaks the one night it was great um got some shaved steak and uh we actually put it in the crock pot which was pretty cool it actually came out really really good and what else did we do we had a giant monopoly game which was fantastic uh what else did we do we watched oh we went to the movies and watched uh the new spider-man movie that was pretty good, because uh, in my area up here in New York, they've finally lifted the uh, mask mandate for everything, um, because we didn't want to go watch a movie and have to wear a mask. I mean, I just assume stay home at that point. Um, so they lifted it, and we went and saw a movie. It was great. It was fantastic, actually. The movie itself, I gave a 10 out of 10. Uh, I'm not going to give any spoilers away because some people like to watch the movie themselves. Uh, now, if it's been out for a year or so, then I'll, I'll talk about it in depth. Um, because uh, that way people pretty much after a year have pretty much seen it. <laughs> that sort of thing. Uh, but it was great. Got a lot of stuff done around the house in the last couple of days. It's only been two days. But, uh, you know... When you're doing content creation on YouTube, it's a full-time like hobby type thing. It's you're constantly checking for mods. You're constantly checking for. Uh, uh, Jerry had a major issue over at Simply Safe Mods because the mods wouldn't let you download. It was his network issue. So he was him and I were emailing back and forth about that and trying to figure it out because I went and got the. I've had Pacific Northwest downloaded before, but then when I went back to Calmston, I got rid of it because uh, I don't try to keep too many maps in my uh, in my repertoire. 
I keep a lot of mods, but I generally don't keep a lot of map mods. So if I'm not playing on it, I like to keep just like one or two and that's it. Other than the base game maps. Because otherwise, you, when you go to start the game, you're like flipping through like 16 pages to get to the map you want. Um, there's some people out there that, you know, have eight or nine, ten save games. I only have two. Uh, it'll be the two that I'm playing on. But, uh, yeah, other than that, relaxed. Uh, I'm back. We had a couple of family members uh, concerned where I was. <laughs> um, nothing's wrong. Um, but as like I told you guys, as I explained in the first episode, um, if when I get to that point, and I, and I had put out four days in a row of this, and I thought, all right, it's, I just woke up after the, on the fifth day, and I thought, I just don't want to record today. And I had made a promise to Jerry, and I had made a promise to uh, some other content creators that that's it. When I start feeling like that, I'm just going to take a few days off. Um, but generally speaking, um, I like to post every single day. Uh, but after about four, five, or six days in a row, sometimes I can make it... Um, longer like we had done on calmston i was on what was i on episode um i think 12 so i'd done like 12 days in a row on calmston um i was gonna go back to no man's land i told i messaged Creighton gaming and i was gonna go back there and do that um but then i thought wait you know and i don't I really don't want to do Calm Land. Um, so please, 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 please don't ask me. Um, we already have enough of those maps out. And if I, I'm working on my own build your own map. Uh, and I also saw, Farmer Cop had a video out, that um, Dark Forest is coming too. But I may not play that since I've edited my own map. Um, I've been working really hard on editing it. Also spent some time yesterday updating all my drivers. So let's hope. I noticed a few seconds ago I was getting a crackle in my uh, my ear from the microphone. But that may have just been my beard rubbing up against the pop filter. So we'll find out. <laughs> I still got my year-long COVID beard. <laughs> we uh, When we stopped going out in public and we started staying home more, I just started growing a beard. Because I never have one, ever. Uh, maybe, maybe a little kind of scruff goatee that I've always had since I was in high school. But generally speaking, no, I don't have usually facial hair at all. So this beard is like, uh, I feel like Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> um, but it's twice as long as that. This, uh, this little three meter uh, spreader is nice except for... It's uh, it's a little bit longer to do this field, that's for sure. Pushing 20 minutes now, but that's still not very long, though. In real life, it would take you probably a lot longer, but I do like it. It's got the smoke animation. It's got the stuff, and you don't have to worry about lining up too much. And we're going right along. We're going to go this pass, and then I'm going to head up. Probably by another pal. We are flying through this lime stuff. I'm glad we don't have to lime every time. Absolutely a pain in the butt. Yeah, my G-Force drivers were um were telling me for like two weeks to update. And I just kept ignoring it. I just kept recording and kept recording. Uh and another thing is anybody else ever noticed that maps drop? And then literally, like, lickety-split, they're coming up with updates and stuff. Like, this one here, since I downloaded the map, had two updates to it that I had to keep, that I had to get done. Something about the milk pen over there or something. And then what Black Sheep Modding did, which is fantastic, he, um, he set it up where it says, uh, I tried to hit the wrong button. Uh, it said it's new save game recommended, but it didn't say guaranteed. Like, Calmston, it said point blank. Oxy said if you want to get the options that I want to do, you have to start a new save game. This one just said recommended, which is the way it should be. 
Uh, I don't know. You guys let me know because I don't. I just noticed that, man, map, maps dropping literally within a couple of days. There's updates. So I don't know if people are not testing the mods or what the deal is because I've been on my, uh, my map for probably the better part of a month now. Uh, testing it myself and making sure all the cell points work and making sure everything's done. Perfect. We got almost a thousand, so we're gonna go down and use this up. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I'm not gonna bash anybody. You guys know me. That's not my style. I just. It's frustrating, is all. You just you start a map. It's like, um, uh, and you get going especially as a content creator you get going and all of a sudden um there's all right so i gotta look for something real quick triple d honey says something about the bridge that there's a aha nope see i keep seeing those purple things is that one of them is that one of them what is that is that a pig or sheep how do you pick it up how do you pick it up? Hmm. How do you collect them, everyone? I don't I don't pay any attention to that stuff. Let me know in the comments how you pick that stuff up. But all right, Triple, I got that one for you. <laughs> I saw that one. You said by the bridge. So But yeah, I just noticed that. I don't know how true it is. Um, and what the problem is, but, uh, like, um, the new Bartle Shagan, whatever, however you say it, um, Farmer Klein was doing a review on it, and he was like, you can't even sell milk on it. Like, that, to me, is like a basic function, don't you think? I mean, if you can't even have animals because you have to put your own cell point down, I mean, it's not the end of the world, no, 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 no. Because there's too many cell points out there that you can just put down yourself. Uh, so that's not the end of the world. But uh, you would think that that would be in there. It's like um, when I was working on my map. And uh, I got to right, I gotta start paying attention because that uses it. Uh, I was talking to my buddy John uh, yesterday. And I was working on my map. And I said, that's the same thing as me having... Uh, not having a like a log cell point or a wood chip cell point on a, on a logging map. Um, it's crazy. And I'm going to, on mine, I'm going to have like five or six cell points of, of for all that stuff. Because there's not, and it's only a 2x map. So there's nothing worse than having to hoss logs or um, uh, wood chips all the way across the planet to get to where you need to do to sell it because there's only one sawmill I just don't doesn't make sense to me why they would put logging maps out with only one sawmill but you got to make them so that they have the option to sell them because maybe you want that area as farmland that's just the truth this tractor's super sweet got this over at simply safe mods and it has had an update already I'm wondering if it's my... I haven't checked in a while. I keep hearing that crackling every once in a while. It might only be in my headphones. But maybe my microphone driver needs to be updated. I don't know. It's been so long since I've updated it. So, I'm not seeing too much of the issues. I am concerned about uh, that there was two updates on this map. Um, that's kind of frustrating because I have only played... This is episode, I think, six already. And uh, there was two updates done already. So I don't know. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm not one to be negative too much. I mean, I already had, I've had my several rants and stuff. Um, but uh, I, I just don't understand why they would, why giants would put it through if there's issues. It, it just, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Might just be me trying to figure out how to work. But, you know, thanks everybody for, you know, wondering where I was and things like that. If you notice, though, I was still making comments on Facebook, or on, oh, almost said the bad word there, on YouTube. 
I still comment on your videos. We had quite a bit of people who watched uh, the last one, which is good. And I try to comment on every single one of them. Boy, I cannot believe how much lime we are sucking through to do a two-acre field. I'm going to have to go in and edit this for sure. Because if we get anything bigger than a two-acre field, I'm going to have to have like 16 pallets of lime. It's a great little mod, though. Really good job. Because we've already bought, we bought, what, 400 to begin with. Then I bought a pallet of 1,000. Yeah. And then... So we've used 1,400 the first time. And then I bought a second pallet. So, and that was 1,000. So we've used 2,400 liters of lime just to just feel... We're not even done. It's like, ah! <laughs> Is it frustrating? Yeah, but it, it'll be done, and then I don't, um, I don't think it'll be an issue. I usually never make it much past the first year, anyways. I am noticing a crazy, crazy amount of time lapses coming out lately. Um, people are jumping all over those, I guess. I was so excited because um, one of the maps that was somebody was working on was getting ready to release. Uh, I do have a little bit of inside information that there, you know how Calmlands came out, um, and it sounds too much like Calmsden. <laughs> so that's the main reason I really don't want to play on it because I would find myself saying Calmsden Farms, and it's not. Uh, Pallets. So hopefully this will just about do it. Nope, I got to buy two because it takes 1400 to fill this thing. Um, but there, I have some inform inside information that there will be lots more of the build your own maps coming um, uh, into the mod hub. So... This is why I waited on Calm Lands. Plus, I look at it this way, that if I wanted to play a farming map where I build my own stuff from scratch, I might as well play No Man's Land. Or my own map. One of the two. So, like I said in the beginning, let me know in the comments... Do you want me to do a traditional farming map like we're doing on this one on Pacific Northwest? Got that from Simply Safe Mods. Great map, 4X map, but that will be ginormous uh, fields. Uh, I think the field that you you start off with in the beginning is like 93 or 100 acres or something ridiculous like that, and then you. Uh, The field next to it that you uh, can start out with is like 153 acres. It's like crazy. Um, let me know if you want me to do that map, 4X. Um, possibly a vanilla version, maybe multiplayer. Or do you want me to um, show you guys my new map and do a strictly, strictly let's play for my subscribers? Because um, that map will never see the light of day as far as um, releasing. So, uh, maybe, maybe if I get with the original mod author and get his permission to release it as an edit of my own, then I will. Because I've always been a firm believer on that, that if you edit a mod to, in order to release it, uh, you have to get the original mod author's permission. Um, and then you have to mention him and give them credit. Because um, that's just... I think that's just the right way to do it. Because they're the ones that made the mod. Uh, but there are... Uh, there's a lot of people out there right now doing the edits. They're taking a mod that somebody else made. They're editing it and then they're calling it their own. Which is why I won't release that map. It'll never see... The only one that may get it would be Jerry. Um, because I can trust him with it. 
um, Grizzly Bear Sims. I can trust him to not release it. He'll play on it on his own. But I've got several different kinds of trees on it. I've got poplar on it. I've got uh, regular ones, a uh, regular spruce. I've got pine. Uh, there's three or four different kinds of trees on the map that I've got. And I've made them so that the tree harvester works with them all. Uh, the only one that I've been having trouble with is getting it to work with the little baby poplars. Um, so what I may do is edit some equipment myself so that it takes it. Um, but I downloaded some mods for it. I've been playing around with it and testing and testing. So if you guys want me to do that, I'll do it. If not, that'll be fine too. I won't have a heart attack. Um, I'll, uh, I'll play that one on my own. That'll be my own time. And if you guys want me to do Pacific Northwest, that's fine too. Um, because what I was thinking is if I went 4X map and I went vanilla with it, I could put it on a multiplayer uh, game and start it up. And then you guys, the family members, can join me if you're on. Like if you're on at 11 o'clock at night or 12 o'clock at night, you can come on and join me. And we can play together. I know that a lot of times that doesn't work with a lot of people's schedules, but unfortunately, that's when I record. That doesn't mean I can't come on and, and play during the day uh, with that one. Because the only reason that I would do a multiplayer vanilla... Oh, I learned the hard way. Ask Craden Gaming. Uh, him and I tried to start a multiplayer on a forestry map one time and he spent the better part of an hour trying to search all my mods down because I, I'm getting old guys I can't remember sometimes where I got a mod from um, unless it's a fairly new mod then I kind of remember which is the other reason I changed back to um I changed back to just getting them from two spots. That way I can just remember. Oh, man, we're almost pushing one o'clock. So the cool thing is, I was thinking about this tonight when I took the dog for a walk. Uh, yes, we're going a uh, running clock on this. And yes, we're going an hour at a time. And you're in like we're six or seven hours into it already. But what you guys are witnessing is after this day is through, then the month is through. We will be in September. Um, and so you basically got a chance to watch uh, a full month of work. So, like, technically we're on day six right now of our month. Um, and I think that's kind of cool. It's really, really, really cool. Uh, it just kind of gives it a new twist. So, by the time we're on episode 24, we'll be in the second month already, which is kind of neat. I learned my lesson the hard way that, generally speaking, the only time I'm going to ever go 28-day season, 28-day months, yeah, 28-day months again, is, is if I'm running it at, like, 10x or 12x, which reminds me. Did they come out with the new uh, finer time scale yet? Because it goes uh, 1 through 10, and then it goes jump, jumps to 15, and I kind of want to go 12x if I ever was to do a 28-day uh, month. 28-day uh, month season. A 20, yeah, 28-day months, that's right. Uh, then I would absolutely... Um, we're going to go up and finish that lime off so that I can make sure I get through this this pass here. Scoop on this. All right. Let's go get the rest of that lime, and that way that pallet's cleaned up. We'll finish this field, and then we'll go up and we'll buy our slurry spreader. We got like 600 liters of slurry already. Ah, uh, what was I going to say? What was I talking about? <laughs> I don't know. My brain just went somewhere else. This thing likes to bounce around on this little bitty road here. Roads. 
Oh, yeah. That was what I was going to say. Find our time scale. <laughs> um, so, I'm hoping that drops. And the follow me mod, I'm hoping drops soon. Because I use that constantly in 19. Especially when you're bringing, like, equipment back from the, the store. Sure. Now, see. All right, guys. We're on an, uh, uh, basically a European map, and that looks like a Honda Civic. Because I had a 92 Honda Civic that looked just like that. What map was it on? I was on the other day. Was it, was it Calmland, where I was playing around on it and trying to test it and see if I liked it? Boy, the traffic was, the, the, I'll tell you, since, since we've had issues with, um, Remember in 19, FS19, um, the, we're going to go a second. We're going to overlap this just a little bit. I'll come back down. Um, remember in 19 when the traffic would move like turtle speed. It would go like 18 miles an hour. And even with a tractor, you were like, come on, hurry up, come on. Um, so this one I've noticed, this iteration, FS22, people are making traffic go like, super fast so like now when you it, it it's so much more realistic when you get on a map with a or on a road with a tractor cars should be faster than you i mean even though some of the modern tractors go 30 35 miles an hour some of them go even 39 but still a car is faster than that All right, everyone, we're finishing this. Get a little bit more here so I can make this basic turn and get this done. All right, last pass, and then we'll be lined. And we'll go, we got about 25 minutes to go. We'll go grab ourselves my modified sl 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 slurry spreader. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm excited to show you guys if you want, but it'll be strictly, like I said, a let's play uh for us and us only so there won't be any links there won't be anything like that if that bores you then let's go on and and uh pick up the uh a second here pick up the pacific northwest which i already have downloaded and we'll start playing on that if you guys want like links and um sort of thing like that so yeah i'm excited either way uh i'm gonna do a second um let's play which I generally speaking don't like to do too many others it's like Jerry and I talked about all the time is uh, when you get into more than one let's play you got to start remembering where you're at what you got going on uh, that sort of thing so two is my max and that's what I'm gonna do it'll be every other day uh, well that's updated <laughs> Okay, well, one of the updated things worked. Remember there was a shed here? Because all my stuff's underneath the shed. Was. What else is new? Is my animals still got... Okay, good. What else is different here? I didn't even give a chance to look. Yeah, this is all the same. I don't know if those are new. Like I said, I, I don't... I haven't driven around too much. Cows are noisier. Where is... Okay, everyone. Where's the milk sales for the dairy? Is it in here? I'm assuming, right? I'm assuming this is milk. Because we got 62 liters. So I'm assuming I got a back end right here. Um, that's The other thing is too. Uh, I was testing my, I've got some pens, um, downloaded that are in-game, in-game, uh, pens, okay, but they're modified by me. You guys have seen me use them before, except for I've, like, really modified, like, the, the food levels and, uh, got it set up to where they take, they all take bales now, um, that sort of thing. When you resell an animal, do you have to go up to... Let me check something real quick. 
Where's the animal icon? The other side? Oh, it's in the pen. Okay. I forgot about that. I mean, there's one, two, three. Boy, these people in Europe love their balloons, that's for sure. So if I go in here. Oh. Aha. Okay. I just answered my own question. I couldn't, for the life of me, figure out how to sell my animals. Because one of my um pens, uh, I've edited some crazy amount. It's like 25000 and I was testing it. And... Uh, I made it so on mine you can buy more than 60 at a time. You can buy 100 at a time. Um, so I couldn't figure out how to sell it, but now I know how. You got to click on the animal. Gotcha. All right. I just answered my own my own, my own own answer. Um, we also got to buy a skid steer and get this out of here. I don't like this stinky stuff in there. Because if you think about reality... Uh, you wouldn't clean your pens only once a month. You clean them every single day, which means that technically we would have to clean ours every every hour. Ah, <sighs> okay. So our field is plowed. Our field is rocked. Our fields are limed. Now we're gonna go get some slurry and go to go as far as we can with slurry, and then we're gonna get a. I think I might have to upgrade to that uh, a bigger spreader because that thing was just cranking through lime. I mean, I love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, but uh, all right, so let's go out of here and go into here. And where did I put it? Slurry tankers. I've got two downloaded. And two edited and two modified all the way over. Okay, so you see this PFW, the last one over. That's going to be for our big farming. Okay. Uh, I lowered the price down a little bit. It was uh, 120000 I lowered it to $55,000. Um, that's 15 meters wide. That's for our large farming. This one here is six meters wide. And I lowered the price down to 8000 because if you look at it, it looks older. So you wouldn't be spending, and it doesn't hold much. Oh, I also downloaded, I don't know if you guys noticed it, the work speed mod. I was a huge proponent of this in uh, FS19 when I was doing Millennial Farmer map. Uh, this is super realistic um, because realistically, you would spread slurry at about five miles an hour. Uh, we're not going, yeah, we're going to go six we're going to go six just to keep it there. Uh, hoses. Left hose, both hoses. Um, just to make it look realistic. This is on the in-game mod hub, by the way. This uh, Krenna 6000. Um, but it's edited. I don't... Now, this is where Fury made a mistake. I, uh, I did not test this too much. Yeah, I've tested the big one. Take a quick look at see how this works. Look at that. See, size-wise, that works perfect. In my old man's words, in my dad's words, perfect. That looks perfect size-wise. There's nothing worse, nothing worse. Like, I was testing around wood chips and stuff earlier on my map, and uh, I had the big, the, the Mac hooked up to the wag, or the... Uh, let me show you. I had this this Mac here, okay, hooked up the Superliner, hooked up to, uh, let's see, go to the red one, wherever the red one is, right here, hooked up to this, and it absolutely looked redonkulous. The track, the tractor, the truck is so small that even on the outside view, you can barely see the truck. That's that's just ridiculous. So, I'm a big proponent on it looking correctly as well as working correctly. So let's go down and test this. Does this have a cover on it? Uh, no. Oh, as Fury drives into the thing. And then we'll get back into the trivia. 
what I may do, guys, is I may give you guys, um, because some of you guys are from the UK and don't watch the video until like 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, when I, well, yeah. So if I drop my video at 11 or 12 tomorrow, a lot of my UK family members won't watch it until 8 o'clock on Sunday morning, or Monday morning, I mean. So I got to give you a couple of days. So let's plan it this way. Um, I'm going to come back tomorrow on here. Um, and then we'll plan on Monday coming back for the new map. How's that sound? We'll give you a couple of days to make you guys. That way you guys have some decision time. That's funny that Black Sheep removed this shed. I don't understand what, it, what the problem with was. I mean, it gives you more room. But now i got to move all this stuff into the shed. And I don't have as much sheds. I mean, I do. There's sheds everywhere. All right, so we're going to... Um, all right, guys. Was there something up here, too? Because it looks like there's some stuff missing up here, too. The other thing I noticed... Check this out. If you terraformed that up just a little bit... You could back in there and dump into your silage bins. Be kind of cool. Love the sound of that tractor. I gotta move that header trailer. Huh. Eight thirty-three. So let's do this real quick so it's out of my way. I'm sick of tripping over it. <laughs> I don't even have a harvester. Just in case, I'm going to leave that pen. Now, I know I think you can sell them. But just in case we ever decide to do pigs or chickens or anything, I'm going to keep everything on this farm. Look, it's like you're really farming everyone. <laughs> Constantly moving stuff around. and Hope this is close to enough to at least do this field. Right here. These are the trees I cannot get the harvester to cut. These little baby trees, no matter how hard I try, um, obviously, and these big trees, it won't work either. But these little baby poplars, you almost just have to chip them up. And that's it. You have to get rid of them. But the three or four different sizes of trees that I have on the map, all, the harvester works on all of them. It's pretty cool. See, it's using it, but not crazy fast. I mean, it's still, we probably will not have enough for this, this field. But at least it's not uh, going nuts. Look, everybody, it's the trees again. This is a nice looking slurry spreader for real. Leave this front edge here. Tear it 
terrible job there, Fury. You missed half of it. <laughs> now, this slurry usage is half. I just halved it. This is set up for, it's a six meter wide, and I've set it up to use three meters wide. Come on, shut off. <laughs> yeah, so that's okay. We've used our 600 up or whatever we had. And we'll have to go buy ourselves a... Oh, actually, no, we didn't. We're not doing a fertilizer on this, are we? We're doing... Um, we can buy a seeder. We're going to seed right over it. So the good news is that we know, realistically, on this field, us trying to... Ooh, get it, 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 get it. All right, that's it. We know that looking at this field... Let me get out away from these these trays. Um, about double what we had there. So we had 633. Uh, about 1,200 would do this field. So that's pretty cool. That's not very much. This thing holds 8,000, so... Uh, if we were managed to fill it all the way up. Let's see if I can just get this little bit section here. Awesome. Yeah, see, if you look at it, another 600, we would have gone... Okay, there was two headlands on that side and one on that side. So... So I want to put this. Um, we'll we'll tuck it in here for now. We're gonna have to find. Oh, you know what? Let's put it over here. I want to get up there and get seed in our oil seed radish. Nice, nice mod. Whoever made this mod on the in-game mod hub deserves a heads up. Now, granted, I edited it, edited it, edited it <laughs> for me, but. Uh, All right, let's head back to the store. The nice thing is this map is like super small, so the store is like right there. Remember when I was driving back and forth to the store at Hastings? Oh, man. You know, when you're on a 16X map and it takes you 35 minutes to get to the store real time, oh, man. So you go down, you buy one piece of equipment, it takes you 35 minutes down. 35 minutes back now your hour video is up just driving to the store <laughs> it's crazy remember and that first field took us like it was 13 or 14 hours real time to that in the calmston farm but i was using such a tiny little um tiny little header on that i should have went a little bit bigger all right cedars we want to go try to go at least six meters right uh, I downloaded this one, okay? This is the, that's only three meters. That's a little too small because if you notice, we need about six. Uh, eight meters, nine meters, six meters. Okay, will it do what we need to? 109,000, we don't got a lot of money left. But we do need a cedar. And is this one? Uh, yes, okay. So we're going to buy this. Um, let's go, mm, yeah, I think we'll go about seven, seven. All right, and then I got to buy a pallet of seeds, or two, or three. Um, now this one's 950 for a thousand, Okay. 900 for a thousand okay so let's go with this one and see how much we can get in here all 
I don't have, I'm not going to put fertilizer in it. Oh, yeah, because we're going to go. Okay, one more pallet of seeds. So if that little field took, will take about 12 to 1500 to do it. That's realistically uh, guessing. Um, then the bigger field, the two acre field, will take about 10,000, I would say, probably to do that field, realistically. So I don't think I took a loan out on this map, so that was good. Let's make sure here. No. So we can, we, we'll be able to take a loan out and get and take care of it. We're just going to seed right over the top of our uh, canola, soybeans, oil seed radish. All right, we got about four minutes. Let's see if we can get this seeded. And then from what Grizzly told me is if we seed this, it will be, it'll take about a month, uh, which is one game day for us. Now I got to back up here. Man, I love how it changes the color of the dirt and everything. Oh, love it. This game's come so far. And then this field will be plowed, this field will be limed, and we're getting our first layer of fertilizer on it right now. Um, and then hopefully, that'll be it. Wow, can't even see. As soon as we get a chance, those trees are gone. <laughs> oh, can't take it no more. So, this little tractor is pulling this pretty good. Seven miles an hour. It's super good. Look at that. That is so cool. We're going to try to make this corner. And we didn't do it. Great, even six meter equipment you can use on this map. It's pretty cool. This thing is barely using oil seed radish. Absolutely awesome. Because we definitely don't want to be in the situation of having to put double the amount of seed into it. Then again, what's more expensive, seed or seed and fertilizer? All right, so let me get this turned around and we're going to wrap it up. We've been here an hour already, everyone. But well, we finished our fields with liming. We, uh, we, we got a little bit of fertilizer. Um, done, and we're seeding. We're seeding our oil seed radish. So we'll finish this field. Now, in the next episode, we'll finish this field and head on up to the next field and see if we can get that thing done in one, one go of it so that we're seated. Uh, and then maybe we'll have to do some contracts or fast forward to the next day. We'll figure out what we have to do after that. Let me know in the comments which map you want me to start. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a couple of days to make that decision. Uh, whether it's my map that I'm working on or Pacific Northwest Big Farming, uh, 4X map, let me know. Either way, I'm happy. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for liking and joining the family. On that note, please, please, please look out for yourselves, look out for each other, and uh, most importantly, look out for each other's families. Please enjoy the night, the day, the weekend, whenever you're watching this, and uh, most importantly, please, please, 
please. May I have another? Just enjoy the day, everyone. And Fury Machine will catch everyone on the flip side. We'll probably be back here again tomorrow, everyone. And then we'll go our new map in a couple of days. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Fury Machine loves each and every one of you. And I'll see you on the next one.